You know, when I was a 22-year-old college dropout brokey that decided to pursue YouTube, I could not for the life of me fathom paying $500 for anything, let alone clothing. But I did always wonder what the differences were when you paid more for clothing. And so times have changed. I'm doing much better for myself. Let's go ahead and find out. All right, Johnny from the Future Edit right here. We're going to establish some ground rules. We're going to find out the differences between trousers today. And the first ground rule is we're not going to be doing any thrifting. Thrifting is great and all that, but you can never get the same exact thrift as somebody else because that's just the way it works. So we want some sort of control. And number two, we're going to have three different tiers. Tier one is going to be the most affordable ones. Tier two is going to be the mid range and tier three is going to be some expensive trousers. And we're going to compare them. And so I just wanted to establish that you're probably going to see me a little bit more back to the edit. All right, so we're out in Soho right now. It was a rainy day today. All these New Yorkers are looking beautiful today. We're gonna go to a store that got us started with fashion, probably with them zipper pants. Let's go check it out. So uh, there's, there's no H&M at Soho anymore. So cut to the H&M store. So I filmed in store and the music was bumping. So in order to not get copyrighted, I'm gonna just summarize what I said. Because H&M is more of a trendy store, I wanted to go for something on the trendier side. Why not? So there was a lot of baggy trousers as well as some slim fit ones. And sure, there were like 20 bucks here and there, but we all know those probably aren't the best. And I wanted to give H&M a fair chance. So then I found a gem, which are these flared trousers. And you know, for 50 bucks, they're not so bad definitely up there for H&M prices, but I'm sure if you shop online, you can probably get a discount. As I have them right now, they have a slim fit in the thighs and flares out nicely, and honestly, it lays pretty nice on a pair of boots or sneakers. There is a single pleat, which always makes a pair of trousers feel much more premium, and yes, these trousers actually feel pretty decent. However, you see that? Not a great look. Now, let's bag our second pair of tier one trousers. Store number two is Uniqlo, a store for staples, basics, timeless pieces, Let's go check it out. And we made it to minimalist heaven. Again, the music was too loud. I was asked not to film. So let me just explain what I was looking for. Something that is as timeless as can be. And so we found a pair of slim fitting trousers also at 50 bucks. There are relaxed fitting ones that look pretty dope, but they were sold out on site and sold out in stores. But immediately what I noticed about these ones is yes, they are constructed much nicer than the H&M ones. However, I don't get why they add these drawstrings. Just my opinion, they already have the button and then the clasp. And there's also a noticeable stretch making these much more comfortable to wear. These are daily pants quality for sure, which just means you're gonna get much more bang for your buck. I mean, you're not gonna get too much flair on an outfit. It's not really gonna stand out. It's just a basic pair of pants. Obviously, these companies are trying to make a huge profit, so they have to appeal to the most amount of people. That's why some of their stuff can come out basic. And what I'm getting at here is this is probably similar to buying cars. So a Corolla or a Civic is as basic as it gets, but it's a nice basic. Reliable, gets good gas mileage, it's gonna get the job done. And then there are some models that have some flair like the Civic Si, which you can consider these flare trousers over here. But we're gonna move on to tier number two now, and let's call this something like the Tesla Model S. Has more features than your normal vehicle, fast, looks great, and definitely much more premium. Wouldn't that be nice to own one? Well, you can get the chance to with the sponsor of today's video, Omaze. So Omaze is a fundraising platform that gives you the chance to win once in a lifetime prizes, all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. And I've partnered with Omaze to show y'all that they have a sweepstakes going on for the chance to win a Tesla Model S Apex. And that's with all the taxes and shipping covered in the US. So this custom Tesla Model S is the best Tesla to date. It's customized by Unplugged using the Tesla Model S Plaid, which if y'all didn't know, zero to 60 in under two seconds. And so when it comes to Omaze, your entry isn't just a chance to win. It's a donation to the Peterson Automotive Museum, which is a nonprofit that explores and presents the history of the automobile and its impact on global life and culture. And so your donation will help the museum extend its education program, both on site and online, as well as aid the museum in developing new exhibitions, community events, and funding programs such as Yellow Brick, which is a free program for teens and young adults interested in attending trade school. So for your chance to win a custom Tesla Model S Apex and to support a great cause, the Peterson Automotive Museum, head over to omaze.com slash Johnny Tai and enter right now. This experience is going to close on January 27th at 11.59 PST. And so I promise you, you don't want to miss out on this. Click that link in the description and thank you Omaze for sponsoring this video. 
Okay, back to it. Check out this beautiful sunset. We are gonna have to resort to online shopping for tier two because knowing me, I'm just gonna waste a bunch of time shopping in Soho and this video would not get done. And so I think the perfect store as a mid-tier brand would be Olive Clothing. And I have several pairs of trousers from them already. These type of trousers run anywhere from $100 to $180 or so. Solid middle tier pricing. And the benefits of a higher price is they can take a little bit more risk. They have a certain target audience. They're not trying to appeal to the masses. And what I immediately noticed is such a variety of options. So as you can see, we have a bunch of wide fit balloon fitting pants. We have some pinstripe pants right here. We even got these trousers right here with a metal belt. So that's actually a really cool touch. Got some corduroy ones, super relaxed fitting ones right here, some cropped ones. And they also got some slim fitting ones. So all of clothing has a huge variety. They've got so much to see and they're timeless. Don't you just love trousers? Fashion is all just a cycle and all of clothing has basically every fits. They even got the Walter White trousers. Now I did buy some trousers from them for this video, but they won't come in time for when I'm filming this. So we're gonna have to resort to some old trousers that I got from them for 100 bucks. So these trousers actually feel similar in quality to the first two pairs of trousers, but they are much more uniquely designed. You got the pleated details around the waist area instead of all the way down the legs. There's that wide fit that tapers down to a cropped cut, which is always nice. Gives you a variety of styling options. And what I've noticed with these trousers is the amount of times I get asked about them. You guys ask me all the time in the comments section, you guys DM me about it. And these trousers aren't even their most premium ones with the belts and all that. So with these trousers being around 100 to 150 dollars, do you think this is worth getting one pair over two pairs of tier one trousers? Let me know what you think. And here we are at tier number three. $500 is our budget, and this is going to cost us more than all three trousers combined. And I immediately know what to get because I bought them for myself last month at full price. And that is the Issey Miyake En Police Pleated Trousers. And they have a ton of variations. So I settled with these ones with the cargo, which there isn't really a cargo, it's just a little slit. And now I see that they are $100 cheaper on Essence. <sighs> We're gonna stick to the original price I paid at $500. These feel nothing like the other trousers. They have flow, they're breathable, and they definitely make a statement even though they are all black. You got that wide straight cut fit, and you gotta admit, they do look expensive. But there are drawbacks though. You really gotta baby these pants. So as you can see, we're on their site now. They recommend that you wash it every single time that you wear it. That's definitely something I don't do. And they recommend that you roll the garments according to the direction of the pleats when storing it. I definitely don't do that. I probably should. You can't do this, you can't do that. You can't dry clean it, tumble dry it, steam or any of that because the fabric is not meant to withstand heat. Heat is what actually makes pleated details, heat and pressure. And so because of that, you don't wanna get this piece wet. Otherwise it'll stretch the fabric, ruin the pleated details. They don't even want you sitting on these trousers for too long. Otherwise you're gonna mess up the pleated details. And what happens when you mess up the pleated details? It is impossible to replete them. So as you can see, you really gotta baby these. I think of this like buying like a McLaren or something like that. There's probably gonna be a ton of issues with it, but it's a ton of fun. You're gonna wanna drive it. But the second someone dings your car with their door, you would probably flip. And so with these trousers, yes, I do wear them a ton. But I have to ask myself, am I really wearing this because I actually like it? Or is it because it is expensive and I wanna get my money's worth, so I decide to wear it more and try to lower that cost per wear? I don't know. I feel like it's a bit of both. And also as a fashion enthusiast, you're obviously paying for the craftsmanship. Pleating these pants probably takes forever. And you're also paying for brand association, just like you would with any other luxury item. For the most part, better quality materials are used or it's handcrafted. And of course, you're getting something unique. All right, so I'm gonna style each of these trousers in the same exact way, same tops, same sneakers. And you tell me which one looks best and give me your opinion on which one is worth it. So this first shirt is very casual. We're just gonna keep it with a t-shirt, accessories like the beanie, the glasses and white sneakers. Just an everyday casual fit that I think goes perfect with trousers. This next fit is going to be a more spring-esque fit. You know, the trousers, Chelsea boots, camp college shirts, and trousers always go perfect together. Let me know what you think. And this next fit is kind of a street fit. We got the cap, the hoodie, the sling bag, and the coat. So this fits a little bit more casual chic. Just having fun with it, you know? And the final fit is kind of more Asian streetwear inspired. You know, we got the Mandarin colored shirts, the cropped colored jackets, and then the trousers. It's crazy how each of these trousers can change the vibe of a fit. If I had to pick what my favorite trousers were, obviously this is subjective. 
I think I would probably roll with the Uniqlo ones or the Isimiyaki ones. The H&M ones are definitely super trendy right now. However, the fit preferences of clothing can always change. So it's definitely in right now, but who knows when it's going to be out of trend. As far as the slim fit ones, yeah, you could say skinny fits and slim fit is out of trend, but it's timeless. You can wear this with a dress shirt to an interview, go on a date with it, and you can wear these in 2023 or you can wear them in 2080, it doesn't matter. Now for the olive clothing trousers, I actually thought this would be the one to come on top. And when I was pairing all the fits together with these trousers, some of them didn't look as good as other trousers did. And the Issey Miyake trousers are my favorite because one, I did pay a lot of money for it. Two, it looks really good and I appreciate the craftsmanship, how much detail goes into creating the pleated details. And because Mr. Miyake is a legend, rest in peace. And hopefully this video gets enough views to pay for my trousers. Let me know which trousers you prefer in the comments down below. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai, follow the other socials. And until then, stay fly, go support our sponsor Omaze. Deuces.